David, great to have you with us. You're positioning basically for better than expected growth, revised higher at least by the bank, um, GDP growth globally for, for 2020, 2021, 2022, and a rebound in corporate profits. What sectors do you like in light of that? Well, right now we're looking at a lot of the cyclical, uh, cyclical sectors, you know, and, and things that have not yet recovered. Obviously, the worst of those are in leisure, retail, uh, entertainment, you know, and, and health care. But on the interim basis, when you take a look at small and medium-sized companies in particular, uh, along all of our industrial uh, you know, sector within the economy, both U.S. and global, you can see lots of recovery potential there. Because right now, consumers are spending more than producers are producing. And these stock prices for small and medium-sized companies now are you know, 30% below their all-time highs. Uh, and these companies are not yet producing the kind of earnings that they will in 2021 and 2022. So we think that there's a lot of potential for people to rotate from the growth stocks, a lot of the technology stocks, into these industrials and cyclicals that we think can make a fair amount of money for them. And not just in equities, you're also looking at high-yield credit in both the U.S. and the Eurozone? That's exactly right. Um, and, and we think that there is some substantial value in both of those places. Again, we have to be pretty selective and avoid you know, companies that are in the energy sector, which is where a lot of high-yield bonds are. But when we look at these medium and larger industrial companies, we think that these that are rated, you know, triple B and double B can be very exciting because as their earnings improve, we think their credit can improve as well. So there are value traps out there. I mean, you mentioned energy for one. Yes, there are some, of course. You know, I think, I, I think that you're absolutely yeah. right. You've got to be very careful now. You know, there are a lot of industries, um, and some of them I touched mm -hmm. upon, you know, retail being a prime example, where they're not going right. to come back, where digital will really have replaced um, some of the traditional brick and mortar, for example, in that area, or where technology ex you know, itself is actually going to you know, take parts of telecom, parts of media, and actually displace those as well. Sure. We do think that there are some value traps right. out there. You're exactly right.